Hello guys, this is Carl and I'm going to teach you how to build the football shape the soccer ball. Unfortunately, this uh, soccer ball that we made last time is a bit broken since it's made of also paper and also paper is a bit thin, at least really sturdy, but uh, it's uh, yeah, so for now, instead of using this, we're gonna use board paper. Now, before we start, since this is a board, uh, cutting it won't be as easy as cutting the also paper. Now, you might need some grinding stone. Uh, this one. You might have one in your home. You ask your dad. Maybe he has one. You need, you, what you need to do is to get the fine side of the uh, grinding stone, which is this one, the finer, just less shiny. And this is the coarse. I want to use the fine. So you just run it like this. Put the blade in a in an angle and then slide it through. Don't face the blade towards you, or you're gonna cut yourself. Do about 10 swipes on each side. Now that we are done grinding our... Now we could, uh, we could use this to cut through board easier. And now we're, I'm gonna print, I'm going to print this template again and then show you how it looks like on the board paper. We now have our templates here. As you can see. Now, as always, we're going to cut out all of the pieces of board here and it will take about 15 to 30 minutes or more depending on on how you are used to making paper crap so let's do it oh yeah even though the blade we have is already sharp you might want to you want might want you might want to cut Cut the portion twice so it, it will be a sure cut and be easier to uh, tear off later. Or if you want to know if it's cut, just look at the back portion. If you see if it has a kind of slit in it, a slit that could be opened, yeah, you're, you're good to go. So that's just a quick tip. Okay, another note is that when you cut, make sure that you cut these slits on the, in the middle. When there's something that points downwards, then upwards, like it forms an an, an acute angle, just cut this part like that. So it will form like a foldable shape. So you're not stuck with something stiff. And you might ruin your project. And do this on all, on, on the other parts as well, okay? Oh yeah, also don't forget to label your parts so you won't get confused since this is a core part or the core part which is where all of the other parts will stick onto we will just obviously write one the number one how do you know yeah right number one that so this is part number one and we're gonna obviously do it on the other parts as well this is how pieces number two to six looks like uh, they have they have slits over here and also the other side over here. So when you see any faults like these rough edges, or if you see any overlapping edges like this one, especially the black one, you don't want to put some lighter parts on a dark on darker colors since it's gonna look unpleasant when you finish it. So. So we will just use our scissors, trim the edges. Of course you already know how to do this, just, you know, cut. Cut it. Like that, you know. Uh, just be careful not to ruin the actual piece. And yeah. So you're gonna do that throughout. And you're gonna clean some rough edges and then some overlap. Now I'm going to tell you something about the last piece, which is this. As you can see, 
there's an an, uh, an extra pentagon at the at the very end. It's because this is the ending. This is where all of your um, tabs will go. Uh, when you finish, this will be the the paint in the neck part since you're gonna struggle trying to glue it we're gonna cut this out and then I'm gonna tell you how to fold it of course you know how to fold it but still I need to tell you how to now that we have finished cutting all of the shapes of the parts of the paper craft we're gonna we're now going to fold the shapes as I told you, if you if you can't fold it like this, it's probably because you haven't folded this part. I'm gonna pinpoint it. You haven't folded this part, the one that goes downwards the acute angle. So what you're going to do is to fold it like so. It's very straightforward. Uh, yeah, so you're gonna fold it and then lift it up. Lift it upwards again. Okay, so we have this, and now we will fold the tabs. Like this one. So, do it. This this one over here, this, this the one on the corner, this one is also a tab. It will connect to parts like this. I'm going to show you. So it's folded like this and then lift it and how it will be glued on is to paste glue it like this it's gonna hold the cord together like a one piece so after you fold the tabs make sure you lift them a bit so uh, they will be easy to be glued on so uh, I'm gonna do this on, on the rest of the shapes so after you have folded the core, the next thing you will do is to fold the same way as the other parts, the connecting parts. So you will do the same thing like that. Okay, so do it un until the rest of the shapes are folded. So we're gonna continue. Now that we have finished folding the edges of the pieces, Now, we're going to glue them. Yeah, glue. Yeah. So, okay. When you use glue, make sure that you use glue depending on your type of paper. Since this is board paper, it's okay if you use Elmer's glue. And we all know that Elmer's glue, when you apply Elmer's glue on a bond paper, it will form some kind of distortion to the paper. So, uh, when you use bond paper, which is not really recommended, and I don't really recommend that, uh, use glue stick. So, if you want to start gluing, we will start with the core part. As I have said before, the reason why we have these corner tabs on the edge is to connect the pieces together to make a one whole shape. So, I'm going to glue this part. Uh, and then uh, slight press it lightly and make sure it's lightly pressed and you see something like glue bits don't wipe it with your finger use another thing like another piece of paper so if you did use it with your finger you're just going to leave some uh, dirt dirtiness in the piece of board so you're gonna you're not going to want your your piece to be dirty well, it's okay if you get it dirty on the underside just make sure it's not dirty on the top as you can see we have finished gluing the core part and it's now one hole and then what we need to do is to glue these parts on the corresponding numbers oh yeah I forgot to tell you that uh, all of these parts over here will be glued on this edge okay on this edge like this everything will be glued on this edge like this one okay and since we label them this is number three 
So we're going to find number 3 in this piece of paper. And here is number 3. So we're going to glue it in place. This is the edge part. Okay. You see it? And then this, this part, this tab, goes over here. Now, we have finished connecting the other parts to the core part. It now looks like a jellyfish. So what you need to do next is to connect the tabs to the parts with no tabs. Oops. Like this. Okay. So you're going to keep on doing that until you form the shape. Okay, here's an example. So this is a this is the core part, and we're going to connect the legs to each other. So as I said before, we're going to connect the shapes with the tabs to the shapes with the no tab to the edges with the no tabs. So we're going to do that until you finish the shape. As you can see, it looks like a very long shape. And we even have to taste the shape itself. So, I'm going to show you how it is It is done. It's pretty much like the first one. Except it's a lot longer. Except it's a lot longer. So, when you glue something, I recommend that you spread it using the tip of your glue your glue yeah and then wait for it to dry a bit because if you if you glue it while it's wet it's going to slip away and then you're going to mess up the gluing process So as you can see, it's nearly dry, so we're just going to paste it like I've shown before, like this one, this goes over here, under here, over here, over here, like that. And it's going to look like this when it's completed. Okay, it's, gonna, it's going to look like this. And you're going to uh, do it until you finish the whole shape. I have to tell you something that the closer you get to closing the whole object, the harder it will get. So, uh, so yeah, so you're going to probably have to think through how you will close this thing here. And yeah, I'm just giving tips right now. Okay, so we're left with the last piece, which is the top part. So I think. Uh, I know what to do here so what you need to do is to lift up the tabs like so just to lift them up lift a bit higher than usual also lift the top piece and then uh, add some glue and then you wipe off some glue we're doing this so we could in the, the drying time of the glue so when you think it's about to dry up well it's not yet dry okay so this is good enough so what you need to do is to gently close the top part then apply a bit of pressure Make sure that pressure is a bit gentle not very hard and leave it apply some rubbing so it seals tight now we have our soccer ball Well, as you can see, it's durable. Yep, it's pretty. And you try to squeeze it, you can't really squeeze it that much. Yeah, so you could toss it in the air and it drops. It's okay. Unlike this one, 
We're gonna toss it in the air. Yeah, yeah. So, so this, so the lesson is use paper board, not thinner ones. And okay, so thank you for watching and.